When you pay money for something, you want the real thing, not a knockoff. But fake products are flooding the market. U.S. Customs and Border Protection seized a record number of counterfeit goods last year. Consumer editor Susan Copen talked with local officials about the fake items flooding into this area. Susan. Yeah, this goes way beyond buying a fake Gucci bag. We went to Homeland Security offices in Pittsburgh to see some of the counterfeit products that they are seizing. Government officials told me these products aren't just dangerous for consumers, some of them can actually be deadly. You can find just about anything on the internet. It's great for consumers, unless what you're buying turns out to be counterfeit. It's not just shoes or handbags anymore. It's pretty much everything we use on a day-to-day -day basis. Federal investigators say counterfeit goods are flowing into the United States through some of the biggest e-commerce websites like Amazon, eBay, Walmart, Newegg, and Sears Marketplace. In a recent investigation, the Government Accountability Office purchased dozens of items from third-party sellers on those sites. 20 out of 47 items were found to be counterfeit like these expensive Yeti mugs. If you look at the bottom, you can clearly see the words Austin and made are spelled wrong. And take a look at this urban decay makeup. The real thing is on the left, the fake is on the right. Of the 13 purchased, every single one was counterfeit. Is it sort of a crapshoot if you're buying this stuff? Absolutely. There are consumers at risk, and that's why we say buyer beware. Special agent in charge David Abbott is with Homeland Security Investigations. He showed us plenty of confiscated counterfeit goods, many of them items that can harm or even kill you. A fake surge protector, counterfeit brake pads, fake airbags, even a knockoff overhead sprinkler. But there's something even more dangerous making its way into the Pittsburgh area. Our biggest concern we're seeing in Western PA, Western Pennsylvania, is the illicit pharmaceuticals coming in. Everything from Viagra. The bottle on the left is fake, the one on the right is real, to cancer drugs and painkillers, like this big bag of fake pills. It's coming in. It's usually coming from China. It, it may or may not be what the consumer thinks they're purchasing. And obviously, if you're ingesting something that you don't know what it is or it's against a doctor's order, it could be very harmful. Companies like Apple have sued third-party sellers for hawking counterfeit goods. And those e-commerce sites listed in the government report say they have a zero-tolerance policy for counterfeits. The biggest, most basic issue is if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. And officials say if you want to make sure you are getting the real thing, you need to buy directly from the manufacturer and avoid those third-party sellers online. Wow, this is surprising to me. Okay, something like Urban Decay, a product I use, you called yeah. them. What did they have to say about this? They, they said pretty much, point blank, if you buy it online and it's from a third-party seller, it doesn't say Urban Decay, then it's going to be fake. That's wow. what they said. I said, you want to test some of the products I buy? And they said, no, we can tell you it's going to be fake. Well, it seems yeah. clear. Thank you, Susan. All right. for 13 in your example there. All yeah. right. Thanks, Susan.